Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a video on this Go. I got a GoPro Hero 9. I've been doing a, some videos on the new things they've added and power tools. So GoPro has these, these items, they're called power tools. And the one I'm going to go over now is Duration Capture. So this is a really neat one. So I'm in video mode right now. So if I was going to do a video, now I'm going to show you the shortcut. If I press and hold the standard button, it takes me right to the... Um, settings otherwise i've got to go hit the standard and hit the little uh, pencil icon so you see this new thing that says duration right there in the limit in the um, bottom it, it's factory um, default is no limit so let's click on it and so it's going to record with no limit so basically it's going to start and stop recording whenever you press this button i like this feature so this is going to have some really good uses so i can go up no, 15 seconds, 30, 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours. So for video, 3 hours might be a long time. I don't know your battery would last that long. So let's, in the video mode, let's do 15 seconds. Okay? So I've got it set on 15 seconds by moving this slider up and down. And there it shows that it's set at 15 seconds. And I can still change all these settings too. Um, and I can put that if I want, if I was doing cinematic, I could, I could do a duration under cinematic too, but let's go back to standard. And so now when I do, when I press this button to start the recording, it's going to start a countdown timer. See that 15 S to the right up here. That's the countdown timer. So after 15 seconds, you're just going to capture a 15 second video. That's a really nice feature for video. That way you're not having to go up here and press the stop button. There, 15 seconds and it stopped automatically. And you can add that as a, as a shortcut. So I did another video on these little buttons on the side here. These are called shortcuts. And let's go, I'm going to show you. So we're going to hard press this. And then if we scroll down... There's my shortcuts. See, this is the shortcut under shortcuts. So let's say on the upper left, we're going to press that. I've got to scroll through this. It goes really fast. Right now it's set on slow motion, but let's... Let's find duration. It's Like I said, it can be tricky to find. There it is. So stop... Stop the slider when it says duration. So now we're going to touch the screen. we got to scroll up, go back. Now see how I've got the duration? That's a shortcut right now, that top left one. Let's click it. Now I can, look at that shortcut. I can set the duration right from here. That's a really nice feature. And click that. So now i got it set on 30. So when I do a video, it's going to do 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and, you can stop it early if you want. Let me show you this on, so time lapse. It doesn't work in, in picture taking. In picture, in photo taking, there is no duration. But I can see this being a really good option for time lapse. For time warp, time lapse, and nighttime lapse. So if we click this little setting, duration, 30 minutes. So it comes preset to a couple of them. So for time warp, it comes preset at 30 minutes. But you can change that. I really like under duration. It tells you how long the video is actually going to be. So by me moving this. No limit. When it's a no limit. I've got to start and stop the uh, time warp with the button. But I like being able to, to just set it for. So say I'm going to set it for three hours. This will be a 12 minute long video. That's a really nice feature. And again. So I've got duration. It shows me it's set for thir three hours. I'm in time warp. Let's press the button. So see how the little three hour, it's doing a countdown timer. But let's stop that. We can add duration to a shortcut. See how I've got three shortcuts here? Let's hard press the button. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down to shortcuts. So the upper left is off. Let's add one there. Let's add duration. 
That's a really nice... There's duration. Then we're going to go back. So now I've got duration and I can adjust the duration right from the screen. I don't have to go into the settings. See? See how nice it is to be able to, to uh, set things from this screen instead of having to hard press it, scroll down, and then it saves you two steps. And same with time lapse. Duration set at no limit, but I can I can pick whatever I want, and it tell and again it'll tell me how long that's going to be. That's a really nice feature. So again, this is just a dad. I'm doing a, a series of videos on what GoPro calls their power tools. They're kind of new features that GoPro has added to the. This is for the Hero Nine. This is a pretty nice um, GoPro. It's bigger. I've got an unboxing and kind of a review, but I'm doing some or uh, how to's on these settings because these settings can be kind of confusing because the manual that comes with it's not very big and you got to go online but i hope this helps and if you could please like and subscribe and thank you for watching